After completing this section, you will be able to recognize where alerts appear and how to deal with them, set alarm limits, identify alerts when monitoring with ECTIS, state the importance of the look ahead danger detection system. Here we see a an ideal situation where the vessel symbol is close to the planned track and there are no alerts, as shown by the three zeros in the alerts window. We have already seen that the route check brings up dangers and cautions in various colours when passage planning. An operator can choose what causes an alert, both for route check and anti-grounding, from the safe menu. Do this by opening the select highlighting menu and checking or unchecking each item. For alerts, the requirements of the IMO standard for the bridge alert management system is implemented. The ECTIS will alert when there is a situation or condition that requires an operator's attention. The acoustic horn sounds when there is an alarm and sometimes for a warning, but not for a caution. The alarm notification has the highest priority. The alert is displayed in the window seen at the bottom right-hand side of the Tectis screen. The Show button opens up the list of alerts. When there is an alarm, the acoustic horn gives three short bleeps, which repeat every eight seconds. When there is a warning, the acoustic horn gives two short beeps, which repeat every 60 seconds. This value can be set in the Safe menu. There is a user inserted danger area ahead as indicated by the red outline box. When the danger detection system sees it, an alarm is raised. If an alert stays active, it can be acknowledged, but will stay in the list with a visual warning in the alert window. If there is more than one alert, the one with the highest priority is shown. Here we see that there are many alerts. As each one is acknowledged, it stays in the table if it is still active but the highlighted background color changes to gray. Unacknowledged alerts have a highlighted background reflecting either an alarm, warning, or caution. Notice that the alert text is large, and here the pulsating off-track alarm is easily seen. Consult the user manual for a full list of alerts and their description. The own ship danger detection cannot be turned off but needs to be set to reflect the area that the vessel is in. Otherwise, a dangerous object may not be detected until it is too late. As the vessel is in open water, the operator chooses a 15-minute check time, with a width of one mile. Warnings are then raised for the restricted and caution areas. Tectis shows detected objects with both information in the text window and colors on the chart. Tectis alerts on the wheel over line for the next waypoint. Notice that once the alert is acknowledged, there is nothing on the show button when the alert is no longer active. However, if any alert is active, even though it has been acknowledged, it will still be able to be seen. Now that we have seen that the alert system follows IMO's requirements, let's take a moment to look back on the key points covered in this section. The Tectis shows alerts as follows, red for alarms, orange for warnings, and yellow for cautions. We saw that look-ahead danger detection cannot be switched off, which means there will be alerts when passage making. The danger detection settings need to be realistic for the area that the vessel is in.